Hey, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is Vintage Story and I am on 1.19.4 now. We did update. Now, like I said, I record a couple of weeks out, so 0.4 has been out by the time you guys see this for a bit, but I'm just starting on it. There's a couple things I want to look at, but at first, first I want to just look at these barrels. Aren't those nice? It looks awesome. Um, and look what I've done. I have moved out of here and I am now in the forge and in the, um, you know, the grotto area, evergreen grotto. Before we do anything else, I wanted to, um, make sure and show you this. I picked the Mexican cotton, um, out of the, um, garden. I got 36 out of the four that I planted, which is really amazing. But what I wanted to show you is that it makes cotton fiber, which can then be turned into flax twine. So I wanted to try this with you. This is going to be a huge help, I think, for my windmills. So we just turned that. Oh my God, I got more seeds. And then how do we do this? Oh, you guys, look at that. That is gonna be a huge help, but look at all those seeds we got out of that. That's fantastic. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna be replanting those seeds. I'm gonna have to get um let's see. I'm gonna have to get more garden going because we're gonna need a lot of that. Maybe we'll do a dedicated um Flax garden. This is nitrogen. Needing nitrogen. So, um, what have I done? Let's go and show you what I've done. I have dug, dug out all of this fire clay and replanted it with just a whole bunch of low fertility soil that I had. There goes the sun. It's late. I've been playing for a couple of day in-game days. And I fixed the trot lines, you guys. Finally, it's not stubby lines anymore. I basically took this down, these all down, and I stood right here. I put another stick over on the opposite side. I stood right here. I looked across and clicked with my cordage. I made sure that I had enough to cross. It was like 15 blocks or something. And then just clicked and it went boom to the other stick like boom to the other stick and now i have a trot a trot line all the way across instead of those stubby little trot lines you guys were making fun of mendel so done and i moved the baskets over here i have gotten a few other seashells from those and then i also just put a little basket over here with my extra fishing stuff i did um harvest some of the bees and you know Take care of that stuff and then let's go up here so i can show you how i've moved in it's a kind of a windy road but what i did is i did a little uh retaining wall here for our area for pit kilns and steel and everything else and then this seemed like a natural walkway i'll prettify all of this and planted a few um cactus and stuff out here out front I finished planting a bunch of stuff here. I really love this. And I'm planning the windows. That's why the dirt is in there. I'm planning the windows. Now, I don't know if this is uh, completely planned yet. I have a design in mind. Um, and then I added some bricks here. This is the Ashler blocks um, bricks that I made. And I did that to frame out some of the windows here and make it look like it has a little bit of depth from the outside. And I pushed this wall back one. Um, I started uh, putting in cobble here along the wall. I might change that out eventually, but I made all my tools into, all my tool heads into tools and hung them up all on the wall here. And then I made a few more trunks and started putting some of the you know, this more storage area here. So I have all the rocks. Look at all the rocks I have. I mean, it's crazy because I have so much peridotite. And then all the fire clay and some of the clay and then just wooden stuff. Okay, so this is the one thing I wanted to look at while I was here. 
the rawhides are now fresh for five days and apparently you can set them on the ground now well, let's just see can i okay let's look at this because this is new okay so it has to be oiled with fat to be able to put it down on the ground so do we have fat Okay, I meant to bring over those two containers that are there, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my spawn. So I have three temporal gears, but my spawn is still set way up here, and I feel like um, if I die close by, I'm definitely going to be unhappy with the fact that my spawn is set way over here. So I am going to use... Um, a temporal gear to set my spawn here. We'll get another one fairly soon, I'm sure. I started on the floor just rimming it in Kapok. But I need to go down and get those two containers because I think our fat is down there. So I'm going to run and do that real quick and I'll be right back. I could have swore we had fat somewhere. Okay, so I just looked through the inventory. We don't have any fat, um, but I could kill a couple of pigs here uh, for to oil that hide. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's um, let's just kill. Let's see. Okay, nice and easy. Let's get a ladder down so we can get our. There's no, uh, no babies in here, so they sh they're not really upset at me. They, they get at quite agitated now. Okay, there's too fat and too hide, which is nice. Those are large, these are medium. So we might as well do a large one because I am really curious at how this looks. Let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and do two. And we'll oil both of those. And we'll see what these look like. I'm excited about that. And we have a little bit of meat now too. Uh Matt, I have not forgotten you, and I will be chiseling um uh Something for you to show you the difference between this uh, tamarind and the acacia. I haven't forgotten about you. I just haven't done it yet. How could I forget about you? Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and put this stuff away real quick. We have some decorative blocks and things because I'm going to be using this for, um, and this one for um, the cellar. And I'm going to be putting some of these special blocks in here because this is my little treasure box right now. And I do have dead guys. I'm really excited about the dead guys. And I have carpet. I forgot I have carpet. We can put go ahead and put those up somewhere. Okay, here we are down in the grotto. I didn't do any el anything else in here yet. Um, I actually haven't really thought m more about it yet, but I did finish the bridge out there, which I'll show you when the sun comes up. But I think... I think the main thing I want to get done right now is a cellar, and I was considering um, making it easy just to have access to the garden, because we have that bridge and we're going to get over here. I guess I do need to see that during the day, and to see exactly where we're going to be coming in, because I want it to have really easy access. And these are the other containers I'm going to be using in the cellar as well. So, uh, and then I brought over uh, a friend. Our friend. So I'm going to grab a stack of the K-Pok. I collected more K-Pok and made all of these. So I'm going to grab a couple stacks of these. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down and sleep. Oh, the feathers have changed. Look at that. They changed a little. Uh... I like the other one better. 
And then these are going to dry, right? It's these ones that are oiling. Oh, 6% already. I'm anxious to see. And we're going to have to figure out what to do with these. Oh, they're fresh for longer in a box. Look at that. Okay. They're fresh for longer in a box. Okay. I wonder if they're fresh for even longer inside a container. Let's test that real quick. So there's six days and seven days in here. Seven days, six days, About they're the same. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do some hunting probably because I don't want my hides going bad. Uh, so we're gonna have to spend a lot of our fat to do that. I'm going to get us to the morning so I can show you the bridge and we'll start looking into how to get over there to the grotto from the bridge. Look at that. We can create three servings of fish stew with pumpkin and apple cactus. I mean, I would eat that in real life. Okay, it is morning and Time did not pass where the cooking pot was concerned. This is one of a, the, a massive flaw, I think, in the game. Uh, the, I just slept for like six hours. This should be done and starting to rot. I don't know. Okay, so the reason we're going to work on the cellar first is because look at this. All of these veggies are done. And it's so important to keep your, uh, have a good cellar in this climate. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to worry about our food is getting ready and we have to have a good secure place to store it. Now, I'd like to ask the modder of the floral mod why these aren't growing. Um, these are the blue agave and they're still at one out of nine. All of them are at one out of nine. I'd really like to grow these. So uh, if they could help me and figure out why it's not they're not growing, that would be very nice to know. Okay, we're going to go over to the bridge. I love these roads. Look how speedy I am. Okay, so I have to be careful over here because we do have a cave there. And another cave right over here. Oh, we just passed it already. There's two caves. We're going to have to go into those very, very soon. But here is the bridge so far. Now, like I said, you guys know, I like to get used to... Um, I like to live with stuff and see what I think of it as I'm living around it. But I changed this. I moved the support pillar out one and then gave it a little rounded effect. I will chisel this so it looks a little bit... A little bit more more better more better and then uh this is the bridge and we can look into our beautiful grotto from here and then we have a little road that goes right over to here and this is the way we're going to get in now i'd like to go straight across so i'm thinking let's see what this this is 58 11. 58 11 and 58 10. 58.11 and 58.10. I think that that could really work because what I'm going to do is make stairs that go up right here as an entrance to upstairs. And then we'll go ahead and put the cellar right in here. So 58.10 and 58.11 are perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of these this orientation. And then we're going to test to see how the water reacts, because I don't remember. Um, 58, 10, and 11. Okay, so we're going to test this out. I'm wanting to put this right here, along, right at the top of the water. And that doesn't seem to... Yeah, that's perfect. It doesn't mess up the water. Okay, I'm going to put a bunch of these across, and I'll see you on the other side. The bridge looks cute from here. Oh, there's some will-o'-wisps. They're stuck in the water. I hope they can get out. 
My pig on a stick is gone, too. I don't know where he went. He got away. Or despawned, maybe. I hope those willow was... Let's go see if they're, if they're stuck. Are they stuck? They seem to be stuck. Well, if I could get them to stay there forever, that would be awesome. Because they're pretty. Almost done. Uh, the other thing, guys, I want to uh, create a hanging lan lam um, lantern kind of situation with uh, the, the Jonas paintbrush. And that way we can hang a bunch of lanterns in here uh, with in the cavern in these dark places to light it all up. So we'll be working on chiseling a pretty lantern. And a chain that we can hang them from. I've never chiseled a chain. So that will be new. Okay, let's see. Can I get up here? Okay. Excellent. Okay, I really like this. We're going to be taking uh, the dock kind of that way as well. Eventually. But I got to figure all this stuff out. So now we have to figure out... What we're going to do about here, because we're going to at least go to here and then we're going to need some sort of step up right here. Or this whole platform is going to come down one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The other thing is we're going to be making a swimming pool. Uh, we're going to be dividing off a little section with a little wall and making a swimming pool. And we're also probably going to have a diving board. I mean, we are living in the tropics, so we do need some good shit around us. Okay, I don't have any bricks, but look at all of these blocks I have. So let's make some bricks. Okay, we need a chisel and a hammer. And we're going to use the baby bricks, the littlest bricks. And then we're going to make um, a little bit at a time. And we should see if we have any stairs. Damn, am I glad I brought that mortar because um, I would have to wait. <laughs> and I, as much as I love the early game, I do. I love the early game so much. I think that that having the early game mixed with having the best tools in game is pretty amazing too let's pick this dude up and set him right here for now and i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down one more from starting right here so give me a minute and then we'll get started on that little section we're gonna this is gonna be a, a fairly large entrance right here and we're gonna be coming down right about here for uh, that little area right there. And I don't know how we're gonna plan that yet, but I'm gonna mark it. Um, it's right here. I'm gonna mark, it's, is it this end one? Okay, let's mark the end one by putting that there and that there. I think that that is the way that we're gonna get up on that second story. Because there's a little natural step right there, but we don't want to mess up any of these stalactites and stalagmites. But here... Mm. Are we on the same level as it now? I don't think we are. I think we need to go up one more, but... And that's okay. Let's go ahead and put a couple more right here. And then let's put in some of these. Oh man. Oh man. Can I break these open with a saw? Can I make these slabs? Oh man. Oh good. I need my saw. Oh whoa. That is a black rat snake. Oh will he bite me? Come at me, dude. 
Oh, I like you living in my pond. Okay, you can be there. Oh, cool. That's primitive survival, guys. That is really neat. I like the snakes. Okay, let's grab one of my many saws and we'll break some of these apart. I don't want to break too many of them apart. Uh, how, how does it work? Like that. Perfect. Let's keep the saw on us and head back. Oh, you guys, I love this place. Can you guys tell how much I love this? This is amazing. Should have used slabs here, so I might take those down. Let's put uh, let's put a couple stairs in here. Do one, two, three like that. Mm, no, just two. And then we'll put uh, whole blocks in on, on the sides of those. We're slowly going to get... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then over here, we're going to put some slabs in. We'll come along, um, let's do this. Oh God. Oh my God. Hippie. Change the orientation before you do that. Let's two. So let's do it right here. Let's put a stair right here and a stair right here. And then we'll go okay so Mendel didn't said he can't see pink now look I'm gonna look right at it those are pink pink and a little bit of brown do you see that Mendel now maybe it's Mendel's computer Okay, so there's that, and then we have a little way across. Now we're going to go ahead and finish this off with some of these. So we have um, like a little platform here. Don't drown, hippie. We'll go this way with it too. I don't know how far yet, though. Come back up here. Oh, we definitely have to go out like this. I'm thinking I'm going to go all the way over to this side. And then what we'll do is... Here, let's do this. Let's finish this all the way over, because this is kind of a pathway. Look how brave I am being in the water. I know a lot of you guys think I'm silly, but I actually have like a real fear. This is helping me face it. Okay, let's get up. And then... I should have brought some of those full paratite. So let's do this. Let's go... Mm, no... So I hope you guys don't mind me just kind of messing with... I have to figure this stuff out, and it takes me a little while sometimes. And sometimes I don't know whether to leave it in my video to see... Have you guys see, like, my thinking processes? Or if you guys just want to see, like, m more of... S almost say, like, the finished product. Uh, but I really do love... Oh, I could put those vessels down. I really do love this part of it. This is gives me um, my creative outlet. I have uh, I really love being creative, and my creative outlet is typically in real life, you know, art of some sort. I do I I do art. I do uh, what kind of arts do I do? I do a crochet. We're going to go ahead and make all of those. I do... I've done painting. I've done drawing. Um, okay, we're, this is our entrance, so we're, we need this to be nice. Okay, after looking at this, I think that we need to... I think we need a... Uh, a line of the kind of like from here to kind of just like 
seal this off like this and probably a solid rock there and then a do I not have any more solid bricks? Okay, I need to make some more big bricks. Put one there and then another last one of these there. Okay, so we have an entrance. Then we have to think about uh, we're gonna be going. I don't. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I have to. I have to think about this a little bit. We're gonna go up with stairs to there, but the most important thing I want to do now is honestly do a cellar because I have to pick my food. Oh, I just grabbed some water. I have to pick my food and store it uh, because I need. I need a little few food security. So let's go ahead and just set this down. I need to eat right now. Yeah, I definitely need some food security. So now I got to think about how I want to do the cellar. So we're going to be have most of our living quarters and pretty thing area over here. And here, I think, should be a few... Uh, you know, working rooms. So I think maybe we'll go in for a cellar. We obviously have to come back here, one. Let's go, let's do that. Hey, you guys can hear that wolf, right? There are wolves up on the hill, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna go back one. And then maybe we'll have a little hallway here. Oh, I gotta think about this, guys. Gotta think about it. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I hollowed this out a little bit more. I think I'm gonna make a two wide entrance right here to a, a, a little work area. I've kept this one wide, block one wide. And what we'll do is we'll come back here a little ways and then make some rooms. And I think we'll just go ahead and keep this too high, but we're gonna make it so it's not so claustrophobic in here by making this a little bit taller. And we may end up decorating this. We're gonna end up decorating everything, of course, but um, we're definitely gonna end up making prettifying all of this so i'm gonna go ahead and put these vessels down so i can collect all of the rocks and then we'll dig back this way when we know we have enough room so we're gonna start we need our we're gonna make our cellars seven by seven so we need at least one for the wall and then three so we're gonna i'm just gonna get back to where we're gonna dig a cellar this should be fine. Uh, one, two, three, and then four. And then... Uh, and then here we should be able to go over three. Yes. What's that? Oh my god, I'm hearing things. So now we should be able to go over three, one two, three, and then, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll go back seven. So it's two, seven, and then over seven, that's two, seven, and then back, and we should meet up, and I'm going to quarry these rocks out. And there we are. So I'm going to go ahead and quarry these rocks out. I'm going to go through the middle and we'll quarry these. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make this a pretty large cellar. I'm going to go ahead and go up at least five. Getting these middle, middle sections quarried out now. 
I'm always gonna try to quarry rocks where I can. Okay, it is officially a cellar! Yes! I just put the door in, Just I just put dirt in the door just to double check that everything was good. I just want to try it. Doors are cheap, right? Can I break down a door after I've made it? Let's let's try it. Let's see. Can I break down this door? Nope. Uh, we'll just burn them if we don't want them. But I want to try this uh, false tamarind. Okay, let's go. Put some doors in. Oh, our first room in the grotto. A simple, silly cellar, but it's huge. Look, I love the way the water comes over this a little bit. Watch. See that? The water comes over this a little. I love that. That's perfect. Okay, a door uh, here. And there's our cellar. Excellent, and we're getting 0.26, which is about the best I could expect. And there's some doors there. I kind of like that red. We could accent in it. That looks kind of nice. Okay, I emptied my inventory, and now I'm, and I made 10 shelves. So we're going to go ahead and put some shelves down here. So the next thing is kind of a kitchen area. Uh, I have a lot of nice plans for a beautiful kitchen, and it needs to be, you know, kind of close, but it's not, it's not essential. So what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to just do this on both sides. We will add, probably add more shelves in here as we need to, but we have plenty of room in here for barrels and such too, for salting things and, um... You know, rot, probably. Okay. Uh, we ha I want to change out the floor. I want to make everything uh, pretty in here. But for now, we have a functional cellar. And that means it's time to pick the garden. I have set aside um, containers, buckets. I made some more buckets. And I have set aside buckets for the Jonas paintbrush uh, and lighting. Issues. So now we have some clay in here, too. We're going to be making clay tiles with these. Look at that. That looks so good. Very nice. Okay, it's medium rift activity, but it is almost four in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, harvesting the garden. But I don't think anything is ready here. Oh, we've got soybeans. And we will replant this. Oh, that's 11. Oh, shit. I picked that one before it was ready. Damn it. Don't get excited, hippie. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, just when I asked. Never mind. Never mind. They're growing. Uh, okay, so I guess my question now is, will I be able to make tequila with that? Oh, look at this. This is the best. Cabbage? Oh my goodness. Yes. The thing about here is we're going to be able to grow all year round, and we're not going to have... Once we, once we have a solid foundation of food, it's going to be easy, because we'll be able to grow all year here. Okay. Nice cabbage. Okay, so that is cassava that I planted when we got back. We have peanuts that aren't quite ready, but we have more soybeans. And I think that's all for now. That's it. So what are we going to put here? I think we should put more Mexican cotton here. That's a that's a nitrogen. I think we should put Mexican cotton anywhere we can. We have 39 seeds. This and it's a nitrogen crop. So let's plant these because we need flax. And that works really well. And this is what do they need? They need 40 nitrogen and this is at 58. So we're going to go ahead and plant this as much here as we can. 
Once I get a solid foundation of food, we will uh, make sure these are rotating properly. But for now, it's a hodgepodge mess. Okay, so everything's replanted. Let's go ahead and pick some berries to take over. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna be in a real in shape serif because I'll be doing a lot of running around, but I really love that I am like claiming this large track of land and will be using the the different landscapes. Let's look at let's look to see how this looks. Using the hill for the forge, I'm using the the flat land for the garden and the grotto to live. I like this. It's a start. Okay, so we have a vessel. We have another vessel. Let's put all the decorated vessels over here and the plain vessels over here. We may, I'll probably make more of these to leave down here and then bring these up to use in prettier places, places where they're more visible. <laughs> we actually have a cellar and our stuff is doing good. 108 days, 5.8 years on the soybeans. That's fantastic. Let's just check for a grain. I can put this in here and see 2.2 years on the grains. So that's fair. It's not, I am in a bad climate. Uh, so typically uh, if I was in a colder climate, it would do much better. But for now this works. I am feeling a little weird about this entrance. Um, so I might actually change it. I'm leaving that open. Oh, there's another pig. Let's try to get him. Ah! Nice. Thank you, Piggy, for your life. Might as well. Let's go see what the traders have to offer right now, too. Hi, Adachi. Oh, aren't you cute? I love you, Adachi. Oh, yes, some pretties. I don't have anything really to sell him at this point. I mean, I could sell him blue clay. Holy cow. He takes two for two gears. Uh... Well, let's go get some blue clay to sell him. Six days. And then he has some vessels. He has storage vessels for four gears, and he has these pretty vessels. So let's do a quick little shopping spree. I'm going to sneak right back here and get Adachi some clay as well while I'm here. Two stacks. Okay, we are. I am back, guys. I'm back. Hi, Adachi. Okay, we're gonna sell you that, and we're gonna sell you, no, those. So I get two gears back, and we're gonna buy, that's 10 gears, that's 19 gears, that's 24 gears. Yeah, why not? Is there anything else? Oh, hey, why are these guys walking away from me? Come here, man. Trying to do some business. Um, that's a cute little flower pot. I really like that one. Let's do those. Um, okay. Are we good? One, two, three. Yep, we're good. Excellent. I think in order to save some time, I will set up a little uh, fire pit in the uh, cellar, just so we have a place to cook for now. Something bouncing? Yes. Oh my god, look at that. Why didn't that... What happened up there? Uh, we gotta go up and get that, probably. Or we just let it dis despawn? Yeah, let's just let it despawn. Not that worried about it.
Is that another cave I don't have marked? It is. It's another cave I don't have marked. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go down in there too. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to figure out how I can set up a quick little kitchen right here by the cellar so I don't have to run back and forth to cook. Maybe we'll just do that right here for temps, you know, just so we have a little place to be able to cook some food because uh, we definitely want to be able to uh, not have to run back and forth everywhere to cook food. So I'll oops, keep this temporarily right here and this is where we'll we'll do some food for the until we get our pretty kitchen done so we're really going to be able to cook some good food now with this cabbage it's going to make my life a lot lot better okay our pelts are cured so let's look at this we can lay it down on the ground now <gasps> okay wait i didn't kill a sheep sheep and you can just walk right over them uh. that's really funny okay so those were large I think those were these so I'm anxious to see what the medium ones will look like so I can pick it up and I put it like right down right next to this one. Oh, wait a minute. That was a female. Now it's a male. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it depends on where you put it, what it is, but it looks like the large ones are, are um bighorn sheep okay guys i have been working overnight and i have also been thinking about these dead animals that are on my floor <clears throat> i think this primitive pr is primitive survival i don't think this is the new hides that go on the floor and i'm new enough with primitive primitive survival that i'm not sure i am asking as we speak on discord um but i would really prefer to have the regular hides that look like on the devlog i'll put up a picture here this is just too like uh what do you call it when you trophy hunting for me trophy hunting this is just too trophy like for me i'm not i, I don't i don't really like this that much i would really prefer to have just the hides on the floor that look more like a rug instead of like a big dead animal so um, I'm asking on Discord now, but if uh, if you can help me, maybe the maybe uh, the primitive survival mod takes over from that 1.19.4 thing with the hides just on the floor. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I got over. Oh, look what I got overnight. I killed a drifter and I got another temporal gear. So we can open a. I killed many drifters. We can open another TL. I think we're going to open that TL that's right back there. Our backyard TL. But I wanted to also show you that I finished, well, I didn't finish. <laughs> I changed this so we have a little staircase that goes straight to this door. That was making me feel really uncomfortable that I didn't have like this straight line. And then I decided instead of going straight up this way um, and ha kind of like ruining this uh, little area. I wanted to push it closer to the actual wall and I did stairs up here through, whoa, through that way. Okay, let's just leave that. The other thing I wanted to show you really quick is that I messed, oh, there they are. Well, let's just kill them. Maybe we'll give us another temporal gear. Okay, they're just spawning everywhere. The rift activity is pretty high. Don't like being under the water. I think I just heard another one fall. 
So the other thing I wanted to do was show you how I fix this bubbly water because I messed this up while I was doing this. So this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to go into creative mode. I'm going to get myself some lake ice. Uh, several of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put lake ice in. And the reason I'm putting lake ice in is because lake ice will melt and you can see where you're putting it. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I see there's no more bubbles. And then when that melts, the water problem should be fixed. So you see there's no more bubbles. That's the way I'm going to keep my lake and my grotto uh, area nice uh, from bubbly water. We need to keep it all nice and calm. And I'm going to put that right back there and go right back into survival. So that's a quick explanation of how I'm going to keep my uh, lake bubble free. I mean, it might be nice to have a hot tub at some point, but not right now. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do a couple of things between now and then. I'm going to run over to the glass trader and see what kind of glass he has because we need to start buying glass for that uh, project up there. We're going to use green and clear, but I also need yellow, orange, and blue. So I'm really hoping to gather some of those things from him. And then I'm going to just do regular little chores between now and then and then figure out what we're going to do next episode. We're either going to do some caving or we're going to fix that TL potentially and go look for bauxite uh, and limestone. Hopefully it will take us someplace good. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Stay safe out there, you guys. It's a crazy world we live in. Bye.